changes in the leadership of this unit. It is known to all that the issue surrounds one person in the union, and that is the leadership of the Secretary General, one Wilson Socion. And I want to announce here, he is the outgoing Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Yeah. That is a position. Yeah. And as we are here, our team is complete. <clears throat> Munuwe Karinga, as I've mentioned, is a national chairman. Speaking is the incoming Secretary General. My name is Colin Soyu, and I've been acting as a national chair. The national treasurer is also here. Incoming, James Muondiku. We are all here, the team is complete. The Deputy Secretary General is Hezbon Otieno Agola. The Deputy National Treasurer is one Ali Abdi Hussein. The first Vice National Chair is not here with us today. And I want to announce the position shall be taken by one Bonfas Tenai of Rift Valley. The second Vice National Chair is here with me, all the way from Western, John Luther Wesonga. Then the Assistant National Treasurer is none other than Kennedy Ondieki Nyamwanda from Kisi. You all remember that John Matiangi, who was representing the Highland Nyanza, and that is Kisi region, resigned and was absorbed in the Ministry of Education. We are not short of leaders. As James Mundik was de deputizing Matiangi, proceeded to be acting national treasurer. Ali Abdi Hussein, I've mentioned here, is getting into the position of deputy national treasurer. And James Ondieki Nyamwanda, as Kennedy Ondieki Nyamwanda, to be the assistant national treasurer. The two women reps, we have actually distributed very well. But before I mention them, Central has declared today that they are proposing Clement Gisharu to proceed as the Assistant Secretary General. The two ladies who will be representing teachers nationally, and that is on the gender desk. The, the National Women Rep, one, is Masi Kiambati. And the second National Women Rep, she's here with us, Masi Ndungu. So we have balanced all regions, and we are good to go. We want to promise teachers in this republic that we must revamp this union to bring the glory of the, the lost glory of this union back. That is our position. Teachers Service Commission is not at war with Kenya National Union of Teachers. Neither are we at war with Teachers Service Commission. The problem has been the kind of relationship that has existed between KNUT and the TSC. So what do we want to bring on board? We must revamp the union and bring back harmony between TSC and KNUT. That working relationship that has been lost, where people just thump and keep on fighting. You cannot fight as a general, and the soldiers are dying. What will you do when you remain alone? Membership of this great union has trickled down from over 200,000 to less than 15,000 as I speak today. We must bring back the membership of this great union. That is our position. And I want to ask a simple question. If a principal of institution is handed over a school with 2,000 students as enrollment by number, and then after two years, you only have 200 from the 2,000, what do you have to do? Even the Ministry of Education will say, principal, you cannot continue leading this institution. I'm asking him to come over. We are here so that we, we, we share one platform. He tells us what he would wish to do that he was not able to do at that time. We are tired of this union being handled by one person as if this is a personal business. This is not one, one's personal kiosk. And we are saying no. Solidarity. Power. Solidarity.